So I'm told. As Zipix tries to work back inside of the lobby, 25 HP only to work with. As the bomb will reach its logical See, conclusion. Is he going to go for this? Are they still down there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Missed, no. oh, my God. No. oh, my Zipix. Clutch Minister's oh, got a new sermon. It. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable from Zipix. <laughs> he is the Clutch Master. And that is... They don't check the corner and device goes down before he gets the bomb plant. Megis next to drop. Ethan playing this position so incredibly well. Sip in a one versus four. Astralis, they get they get what they want, but they just can't complete the rounds. Yeah, they got what they wanted. They just didn't like what came afterwards. Santa's Law just waiting. And Zipnix has picked up the bomb, but he's got nowhere to go. There's no escape route to that upper bomb site. He'll try and work his way around 37 seconds. Good win for Zipnix. Three kills. The Clutch Minister would have to get an ace clutch to get Astralis their second. And Breeze is going to oblige him. He just walks out to the open. They're gifting him these. And Zipnix might just do it again. Spots the shoulder. That's a huge win. That's what they needed. And Zipnix is the one to deliver it again. A bit of a class here, leaving Zipnix last man alive. But he can clutch like no other. So don't write him out just yet. But he's in a 1v2, and it's not going to be easy. Kerrigan played great at the at the rock, but now it's Zipnix trying to wheel his way around, and he's isolated himself from behind, but it's taking so very long. There's one shot on the queue into a one-on-one. Alu's -on -one. got the angle. Zipnix, can he do it? He does! That is huge from Zipnix. <laughs> the clutch master again. Four kills in the round. From above, but the grin gets wiped off his face pretty quickly, but it has left just Zipnix alive. And Alu being pressured actually crumbles Zipnix. All right, clutch master, let's see what you can do. A nice and simple 1v3, I'm not too sure, but he's already going to start to predict. Maybe there's a possibility, and oh, Keo's given away a bit of the game here, and there it is, Zipnix! It's a lifeline, it's a window, and it's a thin one, but look at this gamble. They're both down lower. Zipnix can get a bomb plant, Zip, he could do something with this. Yeah, this is tough now, he's going to find all the 1v1s he could possibly oh my want. God. Yeah, that's a mistake from Kiyoshima, you can't give this guy this much space to work with. One, one at the upper bomb site. He absolutely does. Oh and there it is. My God. More magic from Zipnix. He's going to get the plant. And it's Nico. He's fooled. He thinks it's going to be the lower bomb site. He took the gamble to see if Zipnix would drop down vet. It doesn't happen. He's got a long way to go. And he's got no kit. Zipnix. Going to pick one up here, though. It's game back on. Nico's got a kit. So time is now not the biggest enemy. It's still Zipnix standing tall in what seemed an impossible situation. He's made it seem somewhat almost easy. But something that isn't easy is a 1v1 with Nico. And Zimnix holds his nerve. He waits, he waits. The molly burns and he now knows. Oh, Nico! He tries it, but nothing comes through. It's Zimnix from start to finish. When it looks impossible. Health. The clutching machine is about oh, to come head to head with Nico, who gets caught completely off guard. He was meant to, I think he meant to jump towards short there. I think he was trying to do the, the jump out the window towards short, and he completely fluffed it. That's given Zipex a prime opportunity now. Still, of course, the health favors rain. But he's got to guess. It's pretty much a 50-50. Which site? Flip a coin. The reason I say that is because if he jumps down there, you don't have your knife out, right? If you're going to jump down to a key choke point in the hat, you've got to be ready with your gun out. Well, here we go. Zipex one versus one. The clutch master up against Rain. One of the hardest hitting players in CSGO right now. Zipex does have an advantage. Gives away his position there with the smoke. Bomb planted. Rain's got smoke. Two flashbangs. That smoke allows him to play the off angle. That's the headshot. The advantage to liquid and manpower. And the trade needs to be perfect. Look how close they are because that's going to be a lineup. Glaive gets one. Only one. That actually benefits liquid because they're able to walk back in and set their aim. But it comes to a one on one. Naf versus Zipex. M4 in hand, one smoke to work with. There's a kit inside of the site, but he's got to find that. And Zipix, he could play the sound. He could sit this back. Smoke goes on it. Not on the kit. He's going to have to try and play this. 10 seconds has to take the fight. And Zipix got it instead. They are really doing it, aren't they? 37 seconds. Breeze now moving closer. Magus got. Oh, he's going to win the fight somehow anyway. The stand coming out. They line up for him and he gets the one kill, but not the second. And now Sip, very low on health. So coming in with the AWP, that smoke is going to make things really rough, but surely they know how low he is. Sip right now. He's got the perfect idea. He's got it all lined up and he's going to get it. Another Sip there, ready, ready, waiting for him right in front. 
Can they get the timing down? Pasha's moving up on the other side of him, and Sibnik's going to be turning his back and down to one health. Bialy with the patience play coming out. Flashbang is in there now. 25 seconds. Headshot coming in from Sipnix. What could Bialy do? He has to find the bomb and make his way onto a site and look at the angle here. This is not easy. Bialy way out in the open. He gets shot down. Sipnix with the one on three clutch. Oh my god. One health left. Juice. Punishes Glaive as he does get the element of surprise, but Zipex manages to get Zeus down. The kit, this time on his back. And he's gonna wait. He's just gonna toy with Electronic, who resides up in the apps. There is no smoke to blanket this bomb, and Zipex, he's gonna stick this, not again. Oh my he God. pulled off the stick versus Cloud9, and he does it against Navi as well. This is unbelievable. Well, you could see, that would've been oh, wild. Oh no, that would've been too I much. I really would've enjoyed it, but they still have a good chance here, but the HP so low against one of the smartest minds in all of Counter-Strike. He actually is heading towards Ivy as well. He's coming for you. He knows what you're up to. And as he holds towards Hell, he couldn't be positioned better. If he waits for them here, he is a god. He's oh, actually nailed it. I can't believe it. How does he do it every time? I don't even know. Like He's either cheating or he's the world's smartest Kill. man. NBK going for more, but it's all swinging in the favor of G2. Device waiting close, he's gonna get completely trucked by shocks and Apex gets a headshot. It's all on Sip, he's alone, he gets one, the bomb is right in front of him, he's clicking through the smoke and missing the last couple of shots, body is on it with the defuse kit, he's gonna get one, kill Sip for the smoke, oh my god, he picks it up and now running back in, he's got the quad and he's looking for the ace, no more bullets though, no, oh, no! Sipix with the ace, are you kidding me, taking down the entire G2 team. Oh, Just blind him. Nice, man. <laughs> AVP behind six. Nice bait. Should be outside, I think. Yeah, he must be with our fight. Oh my god. Peace. What was that? What was that? What was that? This is why I need to be in Astralis, man. Look at this. Yampi, Yampi, drop me AK. I'm whittled even more time away off of this clock now. Device taking matters into his own hands. Swings on the peak. Ooh, Ooh, looking for another. And Device pinned down inside of the site. Two players fall, leaving it onto Zipex. But if one man could get you believing for Astralis, it might be this one. They're on the bomb. Zipex oh, is on the damage. What? And he's going to take down all three. A five on three. Guardian's got Ram covered. I really don't think that was the play that was required at all. Luckily, there is another player there. Rain will get one. Should be enough at this point. Not if Zipex gets a kill for the smoke, but Glaive is cratered. Where did that happen? What happened? Did... Was it from the silo? I'm going to have to go check it out. You cast, Vince. I'm going on investigation mission. Sure thing. Detective Henry's on the case. As is Zipex, but he's only got 22 seconds to find the clues he needs to solve and crack it. And it seems like the answer may be A. And both of FaZe are still down at B site. They're going to stick together. It is an opener for Mass to try and get rid. And they're still looking at B. They seem to have thought they were still B site for some reason. Now they're going to move in, but it's going to be a stalled attempt. And Zipex is going to pounce on this. Exist is going to slowly come up as well. And Zipex pulls it off. Advantages towards Zipnix, even in a one versus three. Did he spot him? No, not quite yet. Exist right now behind those doors. That's a lot of spray through. He's gonna get him as well. Headshot through the door, the very last bullet. That's so ridiculous. Now there's a path into the A-bomb site. He has a smoke and a Molotov. If he puts the bomb down and they try and retake from Catwalk, those two grenades are gonna be massive. Brims is pretty frozen. He's on low HP. He doesn't want to get into an engagement. He wants Brolin to find out exactly where Zipnix is. It's gonna be the A-bomb site. And Anders, I think Zipnix is gonna win this one. He's got... A lot of tools to use. This is going to be really tough, especially for Crims with low health to get into a good fight. Oh no, it's going to be just his toes showing, isn't it? It does fall off the angle, otherwise that would have been a very hard way to go. Ticking slowly away. No kit on either of the Fnatic players right now. They need to be very fast if they want a chance at this. It's a one on three, but as you said in the beginning, Sip is well known for taking these. Crims making a bit of noise, and now it's down to Brolin. One versus one. He's got the grenade. He's still got the Molotov. He's just going to shot throw it right on the bomb, and headshots are following.
one versus three, and Sip will shut it down. Парни браво, они оба хороши в клатчах, так что шансы есть огромные. Так, ну что же, Нитро не видит как раз таки Xipex. Xipex хороший минус по Нитро, это уже ситуация 2 в 2. И Батик пока что под Глейв, но Глейв погибает, но это вдвоем на размен должны выходить и Нав, и Элиш. Ну, просто у Нав снайперский девайс. о о Xipex, ну что же, ну как? Ну... Хотя зачем спрашивать, как? Had he done so, you've got Rush planting the bomb on just as little HP. This bomb site could have been so easily cleared, but <laughs> it still could be. He knows Golden's there based on the reload, and Zipex has now got himself into the bomb site. Three kills and a bomb to get on top of. He's gonna pull the goose egg. And oh, automatic. Oh, Automatic's not gonna go gonna for this. A tap. Of wow. course. A 10 second stick. Of course, Zipex pulls this out of nowhere. Oh, automatic <laughs> comes in right at the last second. Vulnerable, which would suggest. A could be on the cards for them. They're looking to feel out these corners. You just make sure there's no one camping close range. But we've seen how deadly the XM is in this very position earlier. It comes down to timing, though, and Zeus has walked away from the hut. Zipex is there on the door. He sees action towards Squeaky Door. Simple takes care of that. One versus one. Zipex is doing it again, Vince. Edward up against him. He's currently in the lobby right now. Zipex seems to be aware. He thinks. That Edward is in towards the lobby. Goes to the fake plant, perhaps. <gasps> Edward thinks it's slower. It's all gone wrong. He still thinks it is. He's fully committed. And oh no, he's realized. And that could be it. Zipex waits for his kill. And it will be delivered. The three on two goes in favor of Astralis. Flash Minister, is this too much to ask? Starts to make his way over. Picks up a kit on his travels. Now they know where he is. Now it truly is a three versus one. 16 bullets in the magazine. Flash. No. There it is. And there is the second one. Back to the door. One player is blind at the very least. Armanek dead. Oh, they're lining up into the 1v1. He's down to the ZZ. Is he really going to save this round? Twanu on low oh. round. Zipex. Clutch Minister, God, let's go! He's out of the site, finally, they wrap around from outside, Smoke's outside, took away Shocks' his vision, he's gonna try and backstab him from the entrance, he might get there in time. Zipix is in the site, but Shocks has Dupree. Glaive, therefore, has to turn and battle against him, which brings Heaven back into the equation, but Zipix is isolated by the silo, and he's found a second. This was started as a one versus three, a fast one versus three from Zipix. He's got it down to a one versus one almost instantly. As Kenny gets closer, Dupree's waiting, knows that he's gonna peek from the same side. Rather, excuse me, I say Dupree, Zipix. The man oh. behind a lot of the magic of Astralis, especially in clutch circumstances, but this one, surely too tall of an order. Need to get someone on that bomb. They got the player about the kid defusing it? No. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah, <laughs> dropping it. JG has a perfect lineup. He caught the first. Running out of time, running out of chances. Now they've run out of smoke. Tags Kenny, still defusing. <laughs> he gets Kenny S. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that is how it ends. One versus three. It's Zipex every day of the week. He plays this correctly with the boxes as the smoke dissipates. He may find more. Gets one through it. All off down. And he'll transfer into pit. So he's got a bit of a chance still as the angle starts to favor. But watch the trade. If he goes for Crims, JW should jump over, finds Crims. JW's not close enough. It's only 30 HP. He goes immediately to the site instead. And Zipix doesn't have the lineup. He's tapped at JW. He's not staying on it. AWP in hand, though. And how does the smoke play? Because JW's watching the right side. This time, surely stays on it. Not quite. Goes for the pistol. And Zipix pulls back oh, against the tap. Big opportunity there. Dupree gonna try and follow it up, but Carrigan shuts him down, pre-firing that corner, and now it's all on Sip. He gets the one kill and tapping the bomb. He's just got his back turned. Carrigan out there, and he's not peeking it yet. And time is running out for Sip. He has got one more chance of doing it, and maybe not even that. He's gonna get the kill and comes back immediately for it. Oh, it's gonna be the last second, isn't it? I think he's got it. He's definitely got oh. it. That is heartbreaking. Um, Pretty close to him. I'm actually now a little bit scared. JW on the other side. If he misses a shot, that's the bomb that's going to go down. Sip is waiting for it. He could shoot under the train, but he's going to go for it. Now running out. Is he going to be able to catch him? He's waiting for it. And instead of overextending, he's going to see if he can flash his way into this one. He knows that Twist must be down there. Oh, the jump. And that's almost it. He gets the shot on JW. I can't believe he's still alive. Now up on top, hunting him down. And the Molotov burning him away. Sip now in a one-on-one. -on -one. Down on the bomb, and he's going to tap it and just hold it down. He, he's gambling on it. He's holding it all the way. Twist, he's going to be so... Oh, oh, God, he's too late. One versus three. <laughs> Look at that. Time is now playing against Liquid. 
No, спасибо. Сейчас просто Зипекс должен работать. Боже мой! Опять клатчмейстер. И вот так и нету. У него нет ХП, у него нет дефицитский топ. Зипекс, по-моему, прекрасно об этом все знает. Как же жестко. Welcome to the clutch! He's not the time for it. Zipnix has no choice but to challenge here. Seems content to not go for any sort of save. It's going to be Dead Fox peeking in fairly early on. The spray comes down. Two people fall. An opportunity now presents itself for Zipnix. The bomb going to get planted. Sticker needs to challenge out from Connector. This is massive, and Zipnix got to feel confident now. He must have spotted Sticker there as well. I'm pretty sure that little bit of the swing out will give him a chance. So Zipnix just going to watch the cross. Sit for it and wait for Sticko to have to cross over. He's still got a flash and a smoke, Sticko, but he's got to get past this initial challenge. If he does, game on for him. If not, it's all Zipnix. Just about finding a new angle here. Still has to cross and Zipnix with three. Looking for the angle. There's the spray on Rush. That's a bit of a start. Now still a two on three and he gets caught with the grenade in hand. Sip picks up one. So at least the smoke is up on the bomb. Maybe that's going to help out Sip just a tiny bit. He's inside the smoke. He taps it once. Is it going to force them out? They're already trying to spray through. He gets the one shot. Sip, he sprays! And there's the quad kill. What? Just and barely to get the plant in, but it's a three versus two on the retake, and now it's just Zipix. He's very low. He's in the corner. He's in the open, but he's got Kenny down. He's got a two-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. The problem is he doesn't know where Body is. He's still low on HP, and as oh, the smoke dissolves, it. he actually finds it. Zipix is second 1v3 in the game, and this one to close. Ah, and damit hat man sein Ziel erreicht. Sipex noch mal gegenhalten. Der versucht jetzt in der Knife zu gehen und die AWP auch zu safen. Das ist sein Ziel. Die AWP durchzubringen! Oh mein Gott, was war das denn von ihm? Der hat kein Devkit dabei. Zieht dann mal rein, ihr macht das! Das gibt's doch nicht! Was war das denn für eine Runde? Ja, er hat definitiv gemacht. Er hat bereits nach Ward Kerrigan. Low HP walks in, Crosshair Placement done. Das macht Zipix Job so viel schwerer. Und ist da ein Smoke out auf der Bombe? Nicht noch. Also Zipix, hitting one shot, hat diese low 4 Sekunden auf der Defuse. Low HP, er hat es gemacht und er hat es gemacht. Das ist die HP, die die Advantage in Zipix. Vision, but it's in the corner, in the corner, and not detected. First kill goes his way after Shox gets Glaive, follows on the bomb, it's dropped library side as well, which means it's in the vision of the CTs as they push through from Moto. Apex is baiting out a lot of attention and a lot of shots that allow Shox to get closer. It's only Zipix. It'll be back-to-back -back rounds for G2. Unless he can clutch it. He's going Whoa. for it. He's got the first shot and he got the second as well. Zipix on Inferno never ceases to amaze. That's so sick. What was that shot? If they can just bleed out these smokes, these there's two smokes for Navi. That's all the team the have to get off of them. Make sure that they get rid of those early and then they can push at will anywhere on the map. But there it is. Crossfire setup and Guardian Edwards they're just freaking havoc. Fetish does manage to bring it back. It's a two on three, but then he gets caught. And now it's just Zipix alive through the smoke trying to find Guardian, but he's not going to be that lucky. And it looks like this is a position now for Navi to take this to a second round of overtime. It definitely is. It feels very likely. Sibling's been playing so well today, but this is a pretty big task on his hands right here. And Navi are even playing it super well. They're waiting for everyone to get into good positions. Sibling's is going to pick up the first one. Still got 70 health left. Going to try and flash his way back. And again, Starix is the one who had the kit. The last two don't. Starix has a kit right here. But they can't just easily ninja this. The grenade lands in. Guardian has no armor. He's still defusing. Sibnix just needs to click the pill. He's not the... Oh, there it is! In the last second. And now Caesar's in a lot of trouble. Dignitas may have just won this map because of it. Caesar's gonna get it. Without a kit, there's no time. Oh my god. One on three for Sibnix. And he takes it away from Na'Vi. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that is so silly. That's two rounds where the, the fuse kit makes a difference. That's it. Toe boosted up, but he goes down very quickly. Hunter comes through, only able to get the one kill. Nexa, though, with a great lineup, leaving Sip alone in a one versus two. And, well, he's just a player for it. Yeah, he really is. He was amazing yesterday. The clutch is keeping Astralis in the games. And another one versus two, reloading. He spots the shoulder, and he doesn't bail out of the fight. Bates out the shot. Zipnix commits. He's got the headshot, and he's got it through the smoke. No idea. And a fourth round for Astralis. How get over towards this B bomb site exists, has to get into position. Oh, Guardian, what a way to do this. And now a 1v2 for Zipnix. Incredible in these situations, but going through the checklist mentally. Exist is up there, forced away. Zipnix gets the cross, bomb to be planted now. Nico's working his way back through, he's got himself an AWP. Exist looking for a gun as well, of course, no kits here. And Zipnix needs to pick the position. Opting just for that little cubby corner. Both players coming back in through the vents as well.
going to make some noise on the drop. And now Zipnix needs to land some beautiful shots. One is good. The second's better. Nico gets sent away, and we are back. Looking like